God is here. The power of God is here. Clap your hands. Whatever is dead is coming alive right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Right now. Makapayaba. 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 In Janama. In Palaba. In Palaba. In Palaba. Right now. Father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We declare. Live. Live. I am Papaya Nama. Hey. I am Papa Baba. I am Papa Baba. Is here. Lift up your hands and clap and receive power. Receive power. Receive power. Receive power. Right now. Lapadayina. Lapadabay. Ah. Masheba. 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 My God. The power of God. Is here, hey! Ah, the power of God is here. The healing power of God is here. The healing power of God is here. Le Pashama, Ye Payama, Ye Payama, Mashanta, 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 Mashanta. Clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands and pray, clap your hands and pray and declare whatever is dead in your life is coming alive, whatever is dead in your life is coming alive, the resurrection power of God is here.
Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Manaha. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Clap your hands. Oh. Oh. Professor, somebody hold, pull a drawer. That's all. Professor. And the message I'm getting from it is that some of you must pull a drawer and take something very precious from the drawer. 
and sow it as a resurrection seed. Not everybody. And not what is in your pocket. I, I'm being specific from a drawer. That is something you are holding and keeping as special. Come and put it in the, on the altar. The person didn't take everything. The person took some. And I mean exactly that. Something you are keeping for something very special. Take some and come and put it here. You see, that couple could have this morning be behind bars. A lawyer, if your dog eats a human being, I mean, I'm sure they will find you some 20 Ghana. So, I said, me, I've seen miracles, though. but the miracle I've seen now, it's more than cancer being healed. Like a lump of cancer has vanished. What I've seen is bigger than that. Yes, it's bigger than that. Within thirty minutes, a healing I saw. It's not. It's not this type of. Give it to And I hear not a lot of you. It's some of you have got some secret investment. The Lord wants you on this day. You see, so that you will even live to enjoy. Ah, thank you, Holy Spirit. It's for life. It's for life. Some of you must be around to enjoy. I went to somebody's house. He's built a mansion and he's living in the boys' quarters. I saw it with my eyes. I said, the things I've seen, eh, I'm telling you. Because there's a condition the person has. The best place is the boys' quarters. And he doesn't know what is happening in the main house. House boys are sleeping with girls in the main house. Those who believe that there is, you've got something special in the drawer and you want to give and sow it on Resurrection Sunday, you can come and pick it and write Resurrection. Resurrection. Those who believe it, the few who believe it, something in a drawer. Believe it. Believe him. sit down I just want to share a short resurrection Sunday message Resurrection Sunday message. And it's from Romans chapter 8. Eleven. The title of the message is Listening Twice. Amen. 
listening twice. Say, I will listen twice. But if the same spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead. So that is why Resurrection Sunday is not something that happened to some man 2,000 years ago. No. That, that event also concerns you because that spirit, the spirit that did it is also in you. It's in you here. After 2,000 years. It's in you. Are you aware that they are ancient spirits? Very ancient. Because we have just come, we are going. They are very ancient spirits. Very ancient spirits. They are spirits that are thousands of years. Since they visited the earth, they have not left. Ancient. Ancient. One day, one day the Lord told me that he has given me a coat and he showed me an image of the coat and said this coat is over a thousand years old. Because hmm. things are inhabited. So this morning, know that Jesus, when you say Resurrection Sunday, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus has risen. He's risen. Know that it concerns you. Because the spirit that raised him also dwells in you. Amen. It's in you. Now, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies. By what? Your salary. Oh, sorry. How <laughs> can I think of salary? Shall quicken your mortal bodies by the physiotherapist. <laughs> by his spirit. That dwells in you. You know, I want to tell you that Resurrection Sunday has to do with. I'm, I'm, I'm tuning your mind. I'm tuning. Resurrection Sunday has to do with a human body. Resurrection Sunday is not a spirit matter. It's a body. The, the issue, the central issue is a physical body. A physical body was in the tomb. It was not a spiritual body. It was a physical body. And a spirit from God entered that physical body. And that body resurrected. So, Resurrection Sunday, seriously, is about a physical body. Now, what you may not know is that your flesh is a very important part of your life's equation. If there's a formula... A formula for your life. And a formula has got variables. Your body, your flesh is part of the variables. If your life doesn't end well. It will have to do with a part your body played. A part your body played. I said, if there's an equation, A equals pi r squared. The equation of your life is not just about your degrees 
and your monies and your buildings and your banks. Yes, all of them are a part of it, but your body is an important part of the equation of your life. So even when Jesus came down, oh, I want to welcome those who are online watching. I don't know how many, but thank you for being online. Listen to me carefully. Even Jesus in prophecy, God said of him, a body has thou given me. A body has thou given me. If it has thou made me, he makes you a body. Today of all days, from today, I don't want you to take your eyes off your physical body. This thing I'm holding, this thing, That's right. this thing. That's right. That's right. If you'll be a millionaire one day, this body will be a part of it. A factor. It's a very big factor in the equation of your life. I told a brother yesterday, who was falling in love by heart. Hey. <laughs> I said, your body, I said, nobody has told you eh, that the formula of your life, you think it's because of your law degree? Your body is part. In fact, there are some people whose bodies did not allow them to do law. Physical body, thank you. Clap your hands for him. Physical body. Don't think spirit. Think of this thing with a wig on it. This body is a very powerful part of your life. If Satan will get you, among the things he will do, your body will be part of it. That is why on Resurrection Sunday, we stand up and we salute the Holy Spirit's role in raising a dead body physically. Physical dead body. Stand up and clap your hands for what the Spirit can do. Today, I'm talking about spirit-body interactions. Yes. Spirit-body interactions. Keep clapping your hands. Spirit-body. See, this guy contacted a power today. I'm not giving him money. I've not given him a pair of shoes. It's called spirit body interactions. Keep clapping. Very, very powerful. Matuna Mama Sata. That is why when Christ came into the world, he said to God, he said to God, you did not want animal sacrifices or sin offerings, but you have given me a body to offer. King James says, a body has thou prepared me. Keep clapping your hands. Today, I want to inform you that what you are doing with your body, hi ya 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 I mean, don't stop clapping. You know, something is happening to you. You don't know. We are, we are in a supernatural environment. Very supernatural. Very, very. I've seen some five things today. I've been laughing all day. All morning. A body has now prepared me. Be careful. Be careful.
That is why, ladies and gentlemen, I need you to listen to me on Resurrection Sunday. Please sit down. I beg you. Take it that I'm collecting money. I'm begging you for money. Listen to me carefully because your body is of interest. Your body is of interest. It's of interest. Zagadiga. Zag Adamo Mandas Kadibosa. Rianda Katabosa Deba. It's too much. It's too much. I need help. I need help. So today, I want you to know that the spirit that raised Jesus from the dead, what it does to you is that it comes to It turns the phlegmatic body into a moving body. It turns the sleepy body into an active body. And, I, and you see, when I'm talking like that, when I see such things, I'm talking about my experience. Yes. I'm one of the super phlegmatics. But through spirit body interactions, through what? Spirit body interactions. Your flesh. Don't joke with your flesh. Don't joke with your flesh. Don't joke with your flesh. So that is why today's message, the title is Hearing or Listening Twice. I feel is the best resurrection Sunday message. Now, why should you listen twice? Why? Because that is how that spirit will enter you. When you spend your time walking about, listening to Jay Z, Jay Bad, um, what? <laughs> Okanet. What you don't know is that you are reducing the power in your body. Every nonsense you listen to. Because you and I as Christians must understand that what happened in Jerusalem, outside the gates, he was buried outside the gates of Jerusalem. I've been there to see it. I stood at Golgotha, outside. We were on a bus. We went outside Jerusalem. That event concerns you. Because that spirit must be in you. Many of you need a quickening of your body. You see, for the only difference between you and Jesus in Romans 8, 11 is that the spirit quickened Jesus' dead body. But you, it is coming to quicken your living body. Because what you don't know is that your living body is dead. It's dead. It is as dead as Jesus' dead body. Some of you have got a body that can't wake up to pray, but can wake up to watch Indian elections. Can wake up at 3 a.m. and follow American events. 